Hi, thanks for joining me. Painting leaves and trees are an important part of landscape painting, but often something beginners struggle with. So today I'm going to show you a really simple technique using a household sponge to paint foliage and leaves on your trees. For my background and distant trees, I've added a little cobalt turquoise and Payne's grey to white. I'm keeping it quite light and white in the centre, and as I'm moving to the sides, I'm adding more cobalt turquoise and Payne's grey. This is just an ordinary household sponge that you'd use at home, and I've pulled out little parts of it to give it a textured effect. Then I'm going to add some hooker's green to the mix and use this to block out the grass. I've made a dusty pink colour by using some pink, some cadmium yellow, a little Payne's grey and white. And I'm going to use this to block out the path. While the undercoat is drying, I'll show you the paints and colours that I've used today. We can start adding some trees in the distance now. I'm keeping them quite faint and adding a little more white as I'm moving forward. I've added just a few details to these trees in the distance and I'm also going to start painting in the shadows. And now I'm going to make my paint to block out the trees in the foreground. It's mainly white, but to one half I've added some yellow and pink to give it a nice warm tone. And to the other half I've added my cobalt turquoise and a little paint's grey to make it a slightly cooler colour. I'm using these two colours to block out the trees. Now we can mix our dark green to block out the foliage and leaves at the top of the tree. I'm going to use the same sponge again and just twist it around and move it around as I'm painting to get some nice effects with the sponge. Thank you. 
I've added some cadmium red to my palette because I wanted to make a nice warm brown colour. I've used the red, the cadmium yellow, a little cobalt turquoise in Payne's grey and I've got three shades of brown. A darker one, a medium one and a lighter one and I'm going to use this to paint in the details on the trees. For the trees in the very front, I'm going to make the paint darker and more vibrant because this will give the impression that they're closer to us. Hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you'd like to learn more about acrylic painting and pick up some useful hints and tips try watching one of these videos here see you next time